What's going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into another video. Today we are working on the CRX. If you guys follow me on Instagram at Slow Integra, you already know that we're gonna be doing some modifications to the lower control arm side of things. I posted that about 20 minutes ago. Uh, that's gonna have a full video. Basically, I'm converting the eBay traction bar from the Heim joint, uh, how it attaches to the lower control arm, onto like a flat steel solid uh, attachment. That way it has a lot less mobility and you get a lot better of an alignment and you don't have the wheel rock back and forth while you're driving without having to buy a super expensive traction bar. While we're working on that, I actually just got a couple shipments in the mail today, which will allow us to go all wheel drive again, that being our matching wheels and tires. Uh, if you guys are OG to the channel, you know that these Wheels, the Avid 1 AV12s with the 245 radials actually came off the Integra a couple years ago. Since Integra is going to end up being a track car, we're uh, taking those off, taking them out of commission. And we wanted to get two matching ones, which I bought off of eBay, AV12s, 16 by 8, just like those right there, uh, along with some tires. Now, these are R888Rs. They're like the radials that a lot of people run on the street. Between this and the Mickey ET Streets, those are pretty much uh, my two favorites. And for the rear, since it's all wheel drive and the split is about 70 in the front, 30 in the rear, we don't need as an aggressive tire, but I still want it to keep the same size. That way the all wheel drive system is nice and happy. Uh, that being said, I got some 245, 45, 16s for the rear, which is exact, exact same size as the front. And uh, these are just regular T1Rs, the Toyo Proxies. These are like the cheaper uh, tires that are still pretty good and they last quite a while. So uh, that being said, we're gonna get these mounted right now. I'm gonna go see Alfonso had his job, Sergio and he's gonna hook us up on mounting these up. And uh, once the ratio is the same by having front and rear tire the same, I can actually go ahead and put the all wheel drive system back on, which as you can see, there is no drive shaft in at the moment. The brackets are still there. The adapter is on the transfer case. So that's all set to go. I think I actually have the drive shaft under the Integra at the moment. So uh, once we get those tires mounted and whatnot, we can actually have the drive shaft back on and then the next drive will be all wheel drive. Although I won't be able to drive the car for about four or five days because we're doing the lower control arm modification like I just mentioned at the beginning of this video and I'm waiting on two control arms to come into the mail. Uh, the bushings were shot on the OEM ones and then I have some aftermarket ones that were donated to me when the build actually started, which I try to use right now, but the uh, lower control arm or excuse me, the lower ball joint won't go onto those. It's a different style, unfortunately, so I can't run those. So yeah, I just have some OEM replacements coming in. Uh, for the bushings, it was like 40 bucks, and then for 70, he comes with already pressed into a brand new arm with a ball joint, same material as OEM, so it's nice and strong. So I'm thinking for a couple bucks more, I just bolt it right on. Um, so yeah, we're going to go to the dealership right now without further ado and throw these into the truck and um, drive over there and get them mounted. Cool. Alrighty, we are pulling up almost to the plaza where Alfonso works in, so um, we're going to get that mounted right now. I was just thinking to myself, the lower control arm should come in, I think on Friday, today's Monday. So we got a couple days until I can actually drive it. So I'll be doing, you know, the conversion to the uh, Heim joint and the traction bar and whatnot that I mentioned earlier. Uh, but I still need to get a windshield. I, I'll be honest with you guys. You guys saw when all everything happened. That was maybe like three weeks ago now. And I still haven't even called Geico to see if it'll cover it. So I'm, I've been slacking big time. I've just been working and focusing on other things. But... Um, Definitely, I have to call soon and get that situated. Sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. I'm trying to focus on driving. But um, yeah, we're pulling up right now. So uh, let's see what Sergio's up to. Look at the camera. We ain't seen you in years. Man? I know, man. I'm gonna these wheels. Uh, Bianca, what's up? Yeah. Eighty psi. <laughs> well. Got them all mounted up. Got the gas station right now, filling up the truck. This thing sips so much gas. But uh, yeah, she's good to go. We're gonna go back home and test fit them up, and should be pretty good. Back home, tires all mounted like we already saw earlier. Brand new tires, look so good. These are already starting to get a little worn, but they're still in really good. Like it has a lot of life left, but you can tell it doesn't have that vibrancy of a brand new tire. So I'm gonna throw these on the car real quick. I'll take the gold wheels off and give them a quick wash. And uh, yeah, just, it's gonna sit a little higher since it's a taller tire, but I actually like it a little higher than what it is right now. One tire's on, the other one is still on, the old one. Uh, aesthetically wise, it's a lot nicer. I think the poke is really complements the car. And uh, aside from that, the height on it is a big difference. 
for those of you guys who know, the all-wheel drive trans is really short on B-Series especially. So being a taller tire, it's going to have a, a lot uh, better drivability, especially on the highway because fifth gear is super short for cruising. And that should help us a lot, especially at the track also, uh, having a higher trap, a little better mile per hour. Really liking it. Don't get me wrong. I love how the gold looked on it. The gold really made it like uh, play very well with like a 90s theme. But something about that silver just, man, it really makes it pop. Really modernized the whole car, if you ask me. I still need to get two more lug nuts because I only have three on each one of the rears, which isn't awful, but it's not ideal at all. But uh, man, that thing has a nice poke without being too crazy. And I love the color, how it offsets the, the black on the car. And it really matches well with the lower control arms. So super happy with how that's looking right there. The four old wheels, gonna spray them down with a little degreaser. I don't have any wheel cleaner at the moment, but this with a little bit of elbow grease, let it sit for about 30 seconds and then a wet rag. Perfect, comes out really clean afterwards. So gonna clean these up real quick. They're all cleaned up and posted up. I just posted on Facebook and Instagram for sale. So by the time that you guys see this, they probably will already be sold. I think they will be. Uh, I just posted it for $199, which I think is pretty fair. Um, but yeah, so the backs are on right now. And uh, I'm not gonna put the fronts on, obviously, until I get done with the lower control arm stuff. And since, like I said earlier, I have to wait until about Friday for the control arms to actually come in. I might do the mock-up with the uh, controller or the traction bar stuff that I'm doing, obviously, uh, with, with how it is. And uh, the final drop down once it's actually already uh, with the new lower control arms. That does some of the video for today. Just a quick update video, really. Just wanted to show you guys the new beefcake tires that we have, 245 all around. Uh, the next video I'm gonna start working on right now is actually finishing the lower control arm setup for this car. Uh, and uh, it should be pretty cool. It should help a lot with the EF slash CRX community. I think it's gonna be very beneficial for anybody who's trying to do anything on a budget and uh, definitely wants to get a better alignment and launch or drivability with their EF or CRX. That being said, I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their afternoon. Leave a comment down below if you think that we should do anything else aesthetically wise to the car, although that we just did the, the wheels. What else do you wanna see on the car soon? And uh, without further ado, we'll see you on the next video. Peace.